We got to keep it 100, man. And I don't, I don't use 100. I use 1,000. You know what I'm saying? We got to keep it 1,000, man. Maybe 1 million at this point, man. We got a problem with the culture, baby. It's the culture. The culture it is, man. Javon, I'm a big boxing fan, obviously. That's why I did a lot of Javante Davis videos, you know. Let me show you my depth. You know, I know Lomachenko's there. I know Usyk and Fury got a fight. You know, I know about the Gary Russells of the game. He fought Lomachenko. I'm a big, big time boxing fan, man. And let me tell you something about Javante going into this fight. He already had the extremities of the IG model. His baby mama kind of messing him up big time. That stress, okay? He is an acquaintance of this gentleman that got into a scuffle. And shout outs to Amario Films. I'm just using this video, these shorts, just kind of show the people what kind of went down. At the boxing match, old old news, but I want to get into the structure of the mindset of the black person, man. Because at the time, you know, of this video, you would think it, it, it'd be a, just a smooth fight, no problemo, easy peasy, you know, uh, you know, just the stress of the the IG, right? The IG model would be the only stress and the only only type of mountain that Mr. Davis had to climb, but. It looks like whenever we, um, a lot of times when we have events, and it's scary at times, man, especially when you become a civilian, okay? To me, you become a civilian when the street life is gone, you work in a job or you own a company, and you're not even you're not even around that environment anymore, okay? I would say, no doubt about it, I am now a full-out civilian, all right? Because I've been away from those type of neighborhoods and those environments for a very long time. So I don't have the structure or the appetite. I don't even know what's going on anymore with blocks and who's this and who's kingpin that, blah, blah, blah. Right? right? Who's doing well? Who's putting out the work? Who has a new jean, a Mary jeans, all that shit. I'm, I, I watched the video when I figured it out, right? But from the mindset of a, of, of a human being that's gone into, I, I believe, which is the next step, which is not caring what people think, is, I think is the greatest step in life for yourself. Um, you get into these squabbles of respect, of manhood at these events, and they constantly happen. There's always somebody at an event, especially when it's black on black. We hate each other the most, by the way. Um, we, we get snappy with each other. I mean, honestly, if you don't have the right clothing, somebody's making fun of you. If you Let's say if I went in there with sandals, they would make fun of you. Um, you know, I was used to be part of those groups who would make fun of, you know, everyone thinks they're bigger and better than everybody. Everyone thinks their block is bigger and better than everybody. Everyone thinks they're the only them. You know, it's only when I traveled, I went out to uh, school and out in Michigan. I said, oh, shit, these, these guys, these guys just as busy as I am, right? They got a block just like, you know, they're on a block just like, uh, some folks I know. Again, I'm a civilian. And, you know, they was into some things. And I said, oh, okay, this is all over. Detroit get busy, too. And then I went to Chicago. Chicago got busy. And I went to I went to dumb, dumb, dumb fuck towns in Ohio, and they got busy. And and Baltimore got busy. And I was like, oh, this is this is worldwide. And and, and I, at first I thought it was a good thing. But as you get older, you're like, man, this is, this is horrible. The same faces, the same blacks, the same attitude, the same violence. And I digress. <laughs> the context this is mid round in a fight the referee had to stop the fight okay had to stop the fucking fight i'm cussing because i'm angry again uh to allow for the ignity of somebody talking trash against somebody's head to therefore spool out a moment of anger which then chewed out a moment of potential violence Big names there. There's one man named Wallo is the one in the red jacket stepping up out of Philly. He with he with uh, Gilly the Kid. He's trying he's trying to stop the beef there. So that guy's a, a podcaster just came out of jail. Um, for a street guy, there is a lot of respect if you're not if you're not too young, right? No offense, we all know it, man. When we were younger, between 15 and 23 is probably the don't give a fuck age. One of the most dangerous ages, I think, around the world. Even 13, 12 years old now when you look at some of these cartel groups. And it is I don't give a shit age. I mean, they don't really give it. They don't know who you are. They don't know what you've done. 
There's a little respect factor because you're older, but other than that, they'll kill you dead. They could care less, and that's kind of what goes down in those age groups. But Wallow's older. He has a little bit of more background. The parties involved, Gary Russell Jr., his brother, and Meek Mills. Allegedly, allegedly, the comment was made, Meek Mills talking trash. This fight ain't going 12 rounds. A little bit back and forth trash talk during the fight. And maybe uh, Gary Russell felt some type of way. His brother stepped around and they probably made a comment, better shut up before I knock you out. And that's what escalated and started this little little transcript with Wallow having to come in and step in. And the Russells have those, the uh, Amber Dean hats. I call them Amber Dean. That's not the right name, but the Amber Dean hats that, that, that folks wear and had to try to split it up. Fight. This is a fight, guys. Yeah. Calm down. Russell Meek Mills, his group, is asked to step out. Okay? So they step out. They leave Philly Boys. Right? Philly Boys had to, had to get out, had to chill, chill, and get out of there. You know what I mean? I'm not going to leave it at that, man, okay? Meek Mills, again, within the same week, okay? Who who always oh, start? Let me see some. At Donna's, you can get more than just amazing, delicious now, Gar- pizza. He, There's he's also right Lava about cake. Gary. Gary's hunting for a fight. Gary's starting shit. Bread bites and more. Fight high shout-outs to you. Subscribe to this channel. Just, let me just get here. <laughs> They said that the Russells and um, Meek Mill were fighting, bro. Did you know that they were the ones that were fighting? Yeah, I, I seen it. Yeah. They always thought shit. Congratulations. That shit went viral. He talking about the Russells. Yeah, he talking about the Russells. You know, these guys, they're looking for a fight the whole night. Um, They were really talking to your boy, Mr. Um, Javante Davis, is saying he needs to step up. Russell wants the money, right? Russell wants the money in any means possible. Um, it's just part of the lifestyle of boxing. However, we know it's fun. For some reason, it escalated to the point where they had to stop the fight. So that's where the fun stops and you start to disrupt the nature of the business and you make yourself look stupid because you rarely see that in other engagements unless... Unless there's actually something done to somebody in the ring, you know, punch punch to the balls, etc. Now, I should make this another video. I may do that, but Meek Mills is also involved in another altercation. Let me know your thoughts below. Again, driving while black is what I call this shit, right? We got to learn how to drive, man, okay? There is a steering wheel. You know, there's a gas pedal. OK, we got to learn how to navigate this world and when the when the altercate and when to just shut up and chill. When we got to know how to how to who to trash talk and who not to trash talk. Right. Got to know who to rile up and not to rile up. Gary Russell was looking for the notoriety. Gary Russell was looking for the media. His his success has been made by Meek Mill. Um, but everyone in the inside watching in. OK. You know, there we go. Everyone from the inside watching in, you know, it stated that, you know, at the end of the day, what's going on with this environment? Whenever we see this this type of focus, it looked to be mostly black and some Hispanic. Why do we have to be this afraid? Why does this, why do these moments have to happen? And that's the question mark for us. Who are we driving respect for? Even the chains and the gloss and all that stuff, right? We showing off for each other. Now, I can't say, you know, a lot of people will say we don't even own shit. We don't own lands. I'm going to tell you something, guys. Brothers, black males, even black females are stepping up big time. Unbeknownst to you, they're buying a lot of shit out there. Okay. And it is tangible. Okay. It's just that, you know, blacks are a little bit more flashy. Okay. You're going to see what they're doing all around them. Right. You're going to see it. That's how that's just how it is. Right. You're going to see that you're going to see what they're wearing and what their clothes and you're going to know they may have a little something going for them, okay? Um, other groups are a little bit, a lot more quiet. We're loud. 
Um, that said, even with those assets, right? I mean, they're they're doing the right thing, getting the real estate and all that good stuff. Act like a businessman because it feels like you could lose your business. Right now, they're not acting like businessmen. I'm gonna sign off right here. I think that's the takeaway. If you got the guap that much money, I believe Milk's Meek was worth over 30, 40 million. I believe Wallow just signed a contract for 20. He's not involved. And I believe Gary Russell may be the broker party of them all and is looking for a come up. So he's looking for an early, early, early in to get some money. Um, so I, 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 for me, the businessman should have been Meek and he really shouldn't have gone the back and forth there, man. It didn't make no sense. I'm going to leave it off here, but wait for the next Meek Meek Meal video. We're going to talk about his time in Africa, man. Another another moment of, are you a businessman or, you know, are you a villain thug or, or a, 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 a bottom level thug, right? Bottom level thugs get the business done, Meek. You know what I mean? Like, you, you, you are, you're a CEO now at the end of the day. CEOs don't get in these scuffles, man. You know, they, they get somebody to scuffle for them. That's my opinion. I'm out of here. Mikey, peace.